Hi, I want to make sure that we understand this circuit. It had some confusion, I think, on the sense of what we're trying to get across. That breadboard that we're making, the resistors that go down in a series like this, okay, versus the ones that are coming across like this, and then going to a wire, and coming across like this, what do these represent? Okay, this is like half of the squid axon. So if we have a squid axon like this, this is the axial resistance going down the axon. These is the membrane that the squid axon, that the, the currents, like the leak currents, leak channels, across the biological membrane. So really, what we could do is to draw this on the other side, but we're just doing it simplistically for looking at the preparation that we have. So this could be the um, this could be the membrane on the other side of the squid axon. So what you have in the lab with the breadboard is like half of the squid axon, you have this half. The wires are joining these. So the resistors that are going this way, that's the bilipid membrane. The resistors going down the breadboard, that's axial resistance. Okay, so these are in series. These are in parallel. And so the series, RT, the total of it in series, is just R1 plus like R2, right? So that's in series when they're like that, R1, R2. When they're in parallel, like this, R1, R2, then you add them like this. R total is really 1 over R total, and then it's 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay, and then you can calculate R total. You can take the inverse, and then you'll have RT. And remember, all this fits with Ohm's law. I equals I equals V over R. So what you can do is you can use R total here, depending on how, if it's in series or parallel, you can calculate then, if you know the current that you're injecting in, then you can calculate the voltage. And it does get a little complicated when you have a mixture of a series and in parallel. But the general concepts, we should know that series resistors add directly, parallel resistors add inversely, and the 1 over RT is the way you get the R total. Then you can convert that R total, flip it over. You have the R total number, and then you can work out mass um, accordingly. And why is this important? just to even understand how the light bulb turns on. You put a current across the light bulb, right? You know, the light bulb, it's got a wire inside. And why is it that it gives off light? Well, this is the resistance for the current. And because of this high resistance, it actually glows, it heats up, and it gives off light. And that's how your light bulb works. And so if it had a low resistance, it would just pass the current and it wouldn't give off as much light. And a higher resistance, that's why that wire is really small. And then it, it has a it heats up more because the it's high resistance and it gives off more light depending on the metal that's inside. So it's just basically the light bulb work. And so people uh, vary that resistance, but it all depends on the metal for the type of the color of the light. Okay. That's all. Just wanted to make sure.